you all i am s jayapriya working as assistant professor in the department of chemistry st joseph college tirupur today we are going to learn about pyrrole it is a hydrocyclic aromatic compound i will be discussing this topic into three parts firstly we will see the introduction to the hydrocyclic chemistry and particularly pyrrole secondly isolation of pyrrole and finally little in detail about structure and aromatic nature of pyrrole let us see the introduction hydrocyclic chemistry is a sub discipline of organic chemistry till now more than 50 million of hydrocyclic compounds register in chemical literature it is very important topic in organic chemistry on the other hand it is very interesting as well so what hydrocyclic chemistry is basically it is nothing but it tells you about chemistry of hydrocyclic compounds or hydrocyclics in general the term chemistry include preparation properties both physical and chemical properties and synthetic uses of particular compound so let us discuss what is hydrocyclic compounds hydro means different next the word cyclic means ring structure so if the ring is made up of carbon and non carbon atom that is hydro atom it may be nitrogen oxygen sulfur zinc etc and then this compound refer to hydrocyclic compounds organic chemistry domains of course it's extended towards sometimes phosphorus and selenium also let's look at some examples in this examples the first one is benzene in this compound the ring is made up of only carbon atoms this molecular formula is c6h6 so this type of compounds are called as homocyclic compounds or carboxylic compounds the next example is pyridine here total number of ring atoms are 6 out of 6 five carbon atoms and one nitrogen atom present in the ring this molecular formula is c5h5n so we can call it as six member hydrocyclic compound right the third example is aniline its molecular formula is c6h5nh2 the point is here to be noted the compound also has a nitrogen that is hydro atom but it is not a hydrocyclic compound because the hydro atom is not present inside the ring so we can say simply when a cyclic compound containing at least one element other than carbon within the ring system then the compound will be a hydro compound let us see examples of hydrocyclic compounds and discuss the classification also generally Hydrocyclic compounds are classified into three types: five-member ring system, six-member ring system, and fused ring system. In this examples, compound one, two, three are said to be five-member hydrocyclic compounds, since total number of ring atom in each case five. Out of five, four carbon atoms, and the another one is nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, respectively. Similarly, pyridine is an example for six-member ring, and then quinoline, indigo, indole are examples for fused ring hydrocyclic compounds. So, the next part of the discussion is the importance of hydrocyclic compounds. I definitely know that all of you must have heard about these substances: chlorophyll, hemoglobin, DNA, sugar, vitamin B12. vitamin c antibiotics and dyes now we will see how this compounds related with our hydrocyclic chemistry the first one is chlorophyll you know very well it is a green pigment present in the leaves and this chlorophyll contains the pyrrole unit in its main structure the next one is hemoglobin hemin is the blood pigment the red color of blood is only because of this hemin which also contain the pyrrole nucleus in its main structure then comes to the nucleic acid it is an important compound in our body similarly rna and dna 
they also have the heterocyclic ring system in them the another one is sugar it is very important in our food they are also heterocyclic in nature they have oxygen as a hydro atom in them like vitamin c also has a oxygen as the hydro atom similarly vitamin b12 and number of alkaloids also containing heterocyclic ring systems for example morphine is used as anesthetic in medicinal field not only this most of the antibiotics even natural and synthetic dyes are also containing the ring example xanthin dyes from the basis of above examples we can understand the heterocyclic compounds are widely distributed in nature now coming to the pyrrole pyrrole is a five member heterocyclic aromatic compound that is six pi electron aromatic compounds bearing one nitro atom it is a colorless volatile liquid it is frankly soluble in water but readily soluble in alcohol now pyrrole is isolated from the natural sources pyrrole occurs in coal tar and bone oil generally this is isolated from the bone oil it is a commercial isolation of pyrrole from the bone oil first of all we take the bone oil in a big container then we will extract it we will get it free from acidic and basic substances by excessive washing with the dilute alkali and the acid respectively then undergo fractional distillation from where we will get it pyrrole but still it is impure then we will fuse it with potassium hydroxide to make it potassium pyrrole which will then undergo steam distillation and we will get pure pyrrole the steam distillation is done because its boiling point will come at below water so then here we will get the pure pyrrole so the next part of the discussion is structure of pyrrole on this basis the elemental analysis and molecular weight determination the molecular formula of pyrrole is c5h5n and the x ray analysis shows that there are planar molecule in this slide we have shown the ball and stick model of the pyrrole here this blue color ball is nitrogen and the hydrogen is associated with this the gray balls are of carbon compounds and this white balls are of hydrogen now we are going to discuss orbital hybridization of pyrrole in pyrrole the nitrogen atom and the four carbon atoms are sp2 hybridized the sp2 hybridized orbitals overlap with each other and with s atomic orbitals of the five hydrogen atoms forming carbon carbon sigma bond carbon nitrogen sigma bond carbon hydrogen and nitrogen hydrogen sigma bonds all the sigma bonds lie in one plane the another part is here each carbon atom and nitrogen atom possess one unhybridized p atomic orbital and these are the perpendicular to the plane of the sigma bond the p orbitals on carbons contain one electron each of the p orbital and the nitrogen contain two electrons that is the lone pair of the nitrogen the later overlap of this p orbital produce the pi molecular orbital containing six electrons an arrangement that is frequently referred to as aromatic septet the common shorten represented by pyrrole is simply pentagen a five member ring within the circle inside the circle represent the pi molecular orbital you know that that means delocalization of electrons the molecular formula of pyrrole c4h5n as you can see from the structure of pyrrole we are having the two double bond it resembles like diene right you can also must be knowing that in conjugated dienes shows this addition reactions but this pyrrole does not show addition reaction but it shows electrophilic substitution reactions which are properties of aromatic compounds 
just like nitration, sulfonation, halogenation. It means it resembles like diene structure, but something more is there in the structure. We must discuss here one more important point is resonance energy. In the case of conjugated diene, we have resonance energy only 12.5 kJ per mole. Why? In case of pyrrole, the resonance energy is above 100 kJ per mole. This also indicates the pyrrole has an aromatic character. This fact ruled out the pyrrole having a diene-like structure. This can be explained on the basis of aromatic character of pyrrole. Since we are saying here, pyrrole has an aromatic character in nature. So, we should also discuss about aromaticity. For an organic compound, to be an aromatic compound, there are three criteria. One of them, it should have a cyclic structure. And the second one, it should be a planar. Planar means, it should have a pi electron cloud above and below the plane. And finally, it should have delocalized pi electrons. And, and then, it should obey the Huckel's rule. Huckel rule is 4n plus 2 pi electrons. That is, Organic compound should have 4n plus 2 pi electrons. You know n is the number of an integer. Now let us discuss how pyrrole is obey the above criteria. So the first criteria is a compound should be a planar. We can prove this from the X-ray studies. The pyrrole is the planar structure. The second criteria is it should have a continuous pi electron cloud. Pyrrole also should have the pi electron cloud above and below the plane, which we can see this in the pyrrole structure discussion. And the final criteria is Huckel rule. In pyrrole, we are having the two double bond, so four pi electrons are there. The one lone pair electron is present on the nitrogen atom. So, we can say that there are six pi electrons. 4n plus 2 pi electrons will be equal to 6. So, this pyrrole obey the Huckel rule. From the above point, we, we can say pyrrole is an aromatic compound. Thank you.